at the beginning of the pandemic. The Oakland International Airport pretty much looked like this all the time, like a ghost town. But things are picking up, and it may be an indication of what travel will look like this summer. The Vargas family flying into Oakland International Airport from Texas tonight. Julio Vargas saying he's not letting the pandemic stand in his way. Now everybody has a mask on. Um, feel safe. Feeling safe is probably why more people are taking to the sky. I feel like if everyone does their part, you know, wears masks and takes proper safety precautions, you know, things work out in the long term. That's what the travel industry is banking on. Airlines are adding flight routes. Southwest has added 70 routes since April to add to the gradual return to the skies. Delta, United, and American Airlines are doing the same. Travelers seem to be returning to leisure travel because COVID-19 cases are trending downward. The question is, is it the right thing to do right now? I think the plans for summer or late summer, mid-summer travel uh, are probably okay right now, I mean, given the trajectory where we think things are going. The vaccine rollout is a big factor with the president saying all Americans could get a shot in the arm by the end of May. Dr. Peter Chen Hong is a little concerned about the way some states are handling mask rules, but he's still optimistic. What we may have is regional variation in the disease again in the next few weeks. But by summer, hopefully that would have settled. Dr. Chen Hong is a little leery about international travel, but domestically, Florida and Hawaii are hot spots. Cameron Long picked the Bay Area to visit his sister. First time that I've done anything in the last year or so. Um, and a little birthday present to myself. <laughs> in Oakland, Cheryl Heard, NBC Bay Area News.